That was one of his favorite and uh, most popular songs. There's another one. Um, I won't uh, tell you the name of it. I'm sure you'll recognize it after we start doing it. Uh, and if you want to sing along with us, please do. It's a good sing-along song. Um, and uh, he, he mentioned G.B. Grayson there a minute ago. When I was 12 years old, G.B. Grayson's uh, son, Ed Grayson, was living in my grandma's house down in uh, Laurel Bloomery. And uh, he heard I had a guitar, and he said, go get your guitar, son. So I went down and got it. We played for hours and hours. He taught me so much. Just those three or four hours we played together, that just really helped me and taught me a whole lot about forming songs and, and, and playing and singing. And uh, he moved his guitar one time, and I said, oh, did you drop your pick in, in your box there? And he said, no. He said, come take a look. And I went over and looked, and he had a rattlesnake rattle in his guitar in the box. And I said, well, uh, what's that there for? He said, well, he said, all the old timers had, uh, had rattlesnake rattlers in their guitars and fiddles. I said, well, why? He said, well, one, it, it makes it sound better. And two, he says, when, he said, they didn't have cases back in the day, and they had put them up against the wall, you know, their fiddle or guitar, and, you know, back then houses weren't real tight, and the snake would come in and get in your guitar or fiddle, and you go to play it, and it'll bite you. So he said, having a rattlesnake in there would keep them from them and spiders from getting in your in your guitar and fiddle. So ever since then, I've tried to get every rattlesnake rattle I could. <laughs> I got one in here. Gave Kenny one in his fiddle. Fred had one in his fiddle. GB had one in his. So uh, don't just kill them rattlesnakes and throw them away. Cut their tails off and give them to a musician. <laughs> so, oh, I better, I better get tuned up. So this is his. Probably, I think, his most famous song. It's a little closer, sweetie. One, two.
come on now. You know it. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. It's been 